Okay, so here I am, I have my sketch, uh, I have a sound that I've loaded, I now using the mouse pressed in the disk function, I can click inside my circle and then if that sound is playing, I change the size and color of my circle here. So I click it, it gets big. I click outside the circle, nothing happens. So I have to click in the circle, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create another shape and just have part of that shape. If I click on part of that shape, that something will happen. Um, and I'm gonna use the circle to, to do that, okay? So I'm going to make a triangle here, all right? So, and I'm gonna use not a variable for every single part of the triangle, but I am gonna use one. So I'm gonna do like TX equals, I'll say one, and uh, maybe I'm gonna do like 300. Um, I'm just sort of visualizing this in my head. I'm picturing a triangle right about here, okay? Um, so TX, and then I'll do TY at maybe 100, okay? That's really all I'm gonna work with for now. Um, so let's go triangle. And then I'm gonna do uh, at TX and at TY. And then I'm gonna sort of use these variables to kind of build around the rest of it. So I'm gonna make it maybe 100 by 100. So I'm gonna do like TX minus 50 and then TY plus 100 and then TX plus 50 and also TY plus 100. Okay, if we look at this, Okay, so there I have uh, my, my triangle there, okay? Um, actually, I'm sorry, I'm just sort of rethinking about this in my head. I think I'm gonna actually make these sort of hard code these numbers as opposed to what I was doing, um, just cause I'll talk about why that would happen in a moment. Basically, if I'm attaching everything to these variables, then if I decide to change these variables, everything's gonna change and I don't actually want that to happen. So there's me hard coding those numbers. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have another ellipse here and then I'm gonna make sort of let, I'm gonna call this like uh, CTX equals uh, 300 and then Actually, I don't even think I need to do that. I'm just gonna do TX and TY. So I'm going to make an ellipse here. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place with this. Um, so I'm gonna make a ellipse at TX and TY, but I'm gonna make it tiny. I'm gonna make it only 200 or about 20 here. So if I run this now, see I have this little circle space right at the top. Okay, so what I am envisioning here is when I just click the tip of my triangle, it will trigger um, something to happen, okay? And I don't even technically need to have this circle here. So maybe I'll get rid of that in a little bit, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just kinda copy and paste this whole thing. And I'm just gonna change a few things. I'm gonna make this D2. I'm gonna make this TX and TY. So it refers to this little circle here and then D2. And um, I'm just gonna make this 20 basically. So it'd be 20 divided by two. I could even just say 10, okay? But I'm just gonna keep that. I could make a variable called like T size or something like that, but it's all basically the same idea. Maybe I'll do that just to kind of keep it consistent. So T size uh, equals 20. Again, you, I could just put 10 here if I wanted to, but just to kind of keep in mind what is happening here and then I'll make this T size. And you can kind of do this any way you want. I'm just sort of looking at a few different ways. So everything's the same now, okay? Um, so now what I need, I'm gonna make another sound. I'll call it sound two. Um, and then I'm just gonna copy and paste this to load another sound, sound two. Um, and I'm gonna make sound two there. Uh, so let's load that, make sure everything's working, no error messages. So now just play sound two. So let's check this out for a second. So I'm clicking, nothing happens, I click here. Okay, the fill is obviously gonna factor into everything, but now I click here, I get that little I get a little spring sound, but if I click anywhere else, doesn't happen. 
So now this circle will trigger another sound to play, okay? So let me maybe just make a few adjustments. I'm gonna make a fill here. I'm gonna maybe make this a yellow triangle. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is make no fill on this other ellipse. So if you look then, it sort of highlights and I could even maybe just move this here. So then you can see this little target area there and ultimately I could just get rid of that and you just sort of have to know when you click there, okay? So now I sort of zeroed in on this space here, okay? And I could maybe play around with like moving the circle down a little more, but I'm not even gonna bother. All right, so now what I could do is um, if sound is playing, I have that. So I'm just gonna kind of copy and paste this as well and put one here. So if sound two is playing, um, I'm not gonna bother with changing the fill. What I am gonna do is I want um, to have TX. This one I do want to animate. So maybe TX, I'm gonna do, I'm envisioning it sort of moving off in this direction. So what I'm gonna do is the X position would then get less and less since I'm moving towards zero and the Y position would also get less and less because I'm moving to zero there. So I'm gonna do like minus equals two and then I'm gonna do the same thing with TY minus equals two, okay? But then I just wanna reset it back to whatever my original thing was, which I'm just gonna, was 30 and 100. So TX equals uh, 300 ty equals 100 okay so now i do it i click okay now that doesn't have any effect on this i click here whoa okay so there you see i have a little animation all right i'm gonna actually go and tidy my code up a little bit all right so that's a basic idea Okay, so um, now what you could do is uh, you could, you know, change the animation. You could maybe make this to go here. So that I could easily do if I just did maybe like, I don't know, uh, I would have to change this number to maybe the 250 and 200. If I want, I'm just envisioning what if I had this I click this circle, so then I would change it to have these two numbers, and I would just have to sort of change all the TX and what all. So let's try that real quick, um, just to give you an example of how I could change things around. So I'll make this 250, I'll make this 200, uh, I'll make this 250, set it back to normal, and this 200, and then I just need to change these. This was 300. This was 100, that's where they originally were, and now this is TX, and this is TY. Okay, and let's see what happens. So see, I changed all that, so now it's this one. I click here, nothing happens, I click here. Okay, and it moves that way, and maybe this time I want the X to actually go up. Let's do that. Okay. So, uh, there you have it. So I could, if I wanted, I could then create maybe a di like a TX2 and a TX, uh, TY2, T size 2, and I could make another ellipse that maybe, so I could click one here and I could click one here. I have this third sound. You want to try maybe all the points of the triangle and get rid of the circle there. You could do that. You could animate the circle. You could change the circle. So all kinds of stuff. Basically, just setting up these variables for the circle that you're going to click in and then have the sound play and then any animation is just going to be in this if statement and the else statement will set everything back to normal all right and again just to kind of show you i could get rid of this ellipse completely so now you see there's no ellipse there but the idea that as long as i'm close enough to that point i will click so i can still click there and it will still make the shape happen even though I can't see the ellipse. So this here was just so we could see that click area, but I don't need it. So you could even make like a little game, like you have to figure out which uh, 
part of the triangle to click or you could have some sort of instruction built in. There's all kinds of things you could do, okay? Uh, so you got that third sound you could load in, try and make a third sound happen, add another circle, add another point on the triangle, maybe do a square, anything you want there, all right? But that is how we can make uh, circle areas that we can click in and trigger animations and sounds.